On Chicago, just four days away from hosting the two-day NASCAR street race. And you can see the number of days uh, are there left for right there. on the. It's on the Blue Cross Blue Shield, but we can't see it in this picture right here. It's a beautiful shot of the skyline, smoky out there. But I promise you, it is on the side of the Blue Cross Blue Shield building. The whole extravaganza is expected to be a big moneymaker for the city, for hotels and restaurants and the like. But certainly not everybody will be benefiting from the big crowds, the packed stands, and the closed streets. NBC Vice Regina Waldrop has the story tonight. Customers from near and far come to Paul Chambers Salon in the heart of the loop. That's right. All over the world. All over the world. That's right. Italy. As well as uh, Ghana and... Uh, Denmark. It's located just down the street from turn 10 on the NASCAR course near Michigan and Van Buren. Owner Paul Chambers says he's been talking about the street race a lot recently and how it's going to cut into his bottom line. We're not going to win this weekend, so we're going to have to close. While workers have passes to get through checkpoints, he says road closures will make it difficult for customers to find parking. So he plans to close Friday and Saturday, his busiest days of the week. Now clients have to reschedule to another to another week or week out. The owner of Osaka Sushi says the race will also impact his delivery business. We have to close four days uh, because uh, we cannot do delivery order. So uh, cannot cover the cost for the labor. Mamadou Joby says he plans to open his jewelry and clothing store as usual, but doesn't know what to expect. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> we just hoping for the best. Meanwhile, at Fontano's on Michigan. It's amazing. We've got front row seats. Owner Frank Guida has extra food and extra workers coming in for what could be some busy and exciting days ahead. A lot of the workers now are coming in that are working on the place, so that's nice. Yeah. We don't know what to expect, but um, I think it's going to be pretty cool to see everything. So this is year one of the city's three-year NASCAR deal, and some of the businesses I talked to say they hope they can be more involved in decision-making in the next time around. Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News.